October 25th, over 67,000 FFA members arrived in Indianapolis, Indiana for the 90th FFA National Convention. The National Convention is where students from all 50 states come together and compete and learn more about agriculture. Ten students from Pella High School represented the Pella chapter. They went to many workshops to learn more about agriculture and met new people from all around the country. They also had the opportunity to watch graduate Chandler Donner compete in extemporaneous speaking. It was really fun. There was, we got really close with the group of kids that we went with, I feel like, because I'm in contact with a bunch of them now, and I know a lot of other people are, are kind of in contact, and we're like, we're like a sub chapter altogether now because it's like we had to travel and do everything with those people. We ate with them. We were in the same hotel as them. It's just like those people is who I got to know directly because I mean you can go to other people that were there and talk to them but these people I was stuck with these people so now they're stuck with me. <laughs> It was probably going to the AQH, AQHYA booth, the American Quarter Horse Youth Association booth, with the National High School Rodeo Association there, and with Cinch Jeans there as well, because they have kind of influenced my life a lot, and really very, um, they help influence my passion with horses and rodeo and everything, and I've always, like, it's kind of been a dream of mine to be a part of those different communities and getting to talk to people there that were there, they made me feel like I was already in them. I wanted to go because one, I wanted to support our chapter member Chandler Johnner because he was competing and I thought that was just mind blowing to be able to like have the opportunity to go and watch one of my very own like family members in a sort, because FFA is like a family, compete at such a big level. It was kind of, wow. So that was like the main reason I wanted to go, to help just support and just be there, because it was it's amazing how far you can go. Um, I learned how we can use social media to benefit um, are not only the agriculture industry but also like people in general and how to make social media a more positive place. So we learned more about conducted meetings and we learned about leadership skills and um, basically just um, experienced people talking about their life experiences and inspiring them. Um, I was really inspired by, I know she wasn't a speaker, but I forgot her name, Mandy, the oh, deaf yeah. singer, because, I mean, because she's deaf and she's a singer, and I remember what she said. She said, don't let your barriers hold you back. It kind of just felt like a community and there was and it was easy to talk to people because you know you're all in the same boat you all came from a different place this is all new and yeah and you just felt like an overwhelming sense of community and it was easy to talk to people Uh, it was very nerve-wracking. A lot of times, uh, I was in. I got to watch all the previous speakers. So there were six speakers total that were in his heat, uh, and I watched several of the previous speakers that. Uh, and it was kind of nerve-wracking to watch them go because there were a lot of high-quality speakers from all over the nation that came in for this competition. So it seemed like uh, I had to really kind of uh, leave the room after each speaker because it made me more and more nervous because they kept getting better and better and. Uh, and then finally Chandler got to go and uh, it was a lot more it was a lot more calming to watch him speak because he's a very very fluent speaker very very uh, uh, very dynamic in his voice has a lot of different inflections 
and just does a really nice job on his presentation. The benefits of students going to national convention include uh, basically students were able to uh, go to leadership workshops. So they had leadership workshops that were based on how to manage your schedule, how to become a leader within your chapter, how to become a leader within your football team, uh, and basically just boost their own professional development as students. Uh, in addition to that, they were able to see a lot of different competitions that FFA does at the national level. So several of them have competed at the local level and it kind of gave them idea, an idea of, oh, well this is, they were able to gauge as to how close they were to actually being at a national quality uh, speaker, I suppose. Uh, so that was really beneficial and also they were able to look towards what competitions they'd be doing in the future because every FFA member uh, does a different competition every single year. And then in addition to that, there's the career fair. The career fair had uh, colleges from all over the country trying to get you into veterinary medicine, trying to get you into trades like electrical work or welding, um, animal science careers, plant science careers. So I think that really opened up a lot of, uh, opened up students' eyes as to what opportunities there are uh, at local, at, at colleges all over the country. And then in addition to that, there were actual businesses that were trying to recruit students. So I'm a big fan myself of fast track careers. So careers that uh, you learn skills in high school and then you just jump right into the workforce. And there were a lot of businesses at that career fair that were trying to recruit students, students into coming to work for their company right out of high school too. Uh, and this, this thing was just huge, just an enormous career fair, probably one of the biggest ones in the country. And uh, I think it really shows what the value is in agricultural careers and the different opportunities that we offer. My favorite tour was the popcorn tour, which it was called Not Just Popcorn. We got to learn about different kinds of popcorn and there were a whole bunch of different flavors and it was really cool to try them. It was really cool to see people from different states like Puerto Rico and Hawaii because you really don't think that FFA happens there but we got to see what people do and just how big the FFA is. <laughs>